we shall reflect on the life of Saint Pantenus. This learned and apostolic father, who flourished in the second century, hailed from Sicily in Italy. Pagan by birth and a stoic philosopher by profession, his esteem for virtue led him into an acquaintance with the Christians and being charmed with the innocence and sanctity of their conversation, he opened his eyes to the truth and committed his life to it. He studied the Holy Scriptures under the disciples of the Apostles and his thirst after sacred learning brought him to Alexandria in Egypt where the disciples of Saint Mark had instituted a celebrated school of Christian doctrine. Pantenus sought not to display his talents in that reputed mart of literature and commerce, but his great progress in sacred learning was discovered only after some time and he was drawn out of that obscurity in which his humility sought to bury itself. Placed at the helm of affairs sometime before the year 179, by virtue of his learning and excellent manner of teaching, he further raised the status of the well-known Christian school even further above all the other schools of philosophy. As Clement of Alexandria wrote about him, he said that Panthenus was the true Sicilian bee gathering the flowers of the prophetic and apostolic Medo engendered in the soul of his hearers an unfading element of knowledge. The Indians who traded at Alexandria entreated him to pay their country a visit, whereupon he forsook his school and went to preach the gospel to the eastern nations, where he found some seeds of faith already sown. In fact, he brought back with him to Alexandria a book of the Gospel of Matthew in Hebrew which St. Bartholomew had carried there. St. Pantenius continued to teach in private till about the year 216, when he closed his noble and excellent life with a happy death.